This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what? Folks, second half, about to get going in on a side back with you. The MPSSAA. 3A boys final here. The NIL season here on DSN. What a season we've had on the lacrosse and baseball and on the spring sports series. Postseason version of it now. But we have enjoyed our stage seeing some of the top lacrosse acts in the country, seeing some good MIA conference baseball as well. We've enjoyed it this year. Get one more half of action here. Right now, Severna Park, the fourth seed, is up here on the two, four to one. But this one, seating wise, really don't tell the tale. Whistle late, the goal will not count. And Mount Hebron hits the ball back. With one goal and they got that in the second quarter. They're trying to pick up their energy here a little bit. And get this fully back within striking distance. Whoa, look out, Lucas Connolly there. Little three goal gang and that got that one taken away. Back here to game action now, 856 remaining here in the third. Game action, a 5 1 game here. And before the ball goes to my heaven here offensively, Vikings pace here. Right? The running Severna Park pace, and they got to get this game back within their comfort zone here. Down by four goals here, and uses Severna Park a team, and they get you up. Put it in. Nice move! Spins out of it! And save! Nice save there by Shepard. And then they get it back. Shepard away from the net. He has the ball now, though. Nice pass right in there. Very impressive. And back comes the Falcons. Yeah, coming through. Roll pass there. 5 1 lead here. Again, I don't think the seating here in 3 8 shows the tail. Severna Park definitely, in my opinion, seating wise, not a four seed the way it went down because of the records. And then if records was tied, you went to a coin flip when they reseed. Oh, like I said, schedules be unbalanced and competition's a little different at times. Another seating, but they're able to something overcome it. Beat the top seed, Catonville, ended their season. Undefeated, ended it at 18 and 1. Now the Falcons trying to repeat as the NBSSA champions this time in the 3A class. 
6.50 remaining. The chase. And yeah, she runs some clock down too. That's very smart. Good girl trying to get that 100 win. Back. There's the first pump really draining some of the clock down. Back. Oh! Right off the stick. Couldn't finish that pass. Got it back though. Stop! And a flag with it. It's going to be six to one. It goes back to game action and assessing the uh, penalty now. The penalty is assessed on Mount Kevin. It's a one minute penalty. That's huge right now. Extra man. Not in the favor. I have it right now. They're down five goals here, and this is this spells trouble. I have will win the possession there off the far start. They're down a man. Again, like I said, offense, they got to face a nice block. Stevenson says no, no. Lost it, and the Falcons get it. Heaven take advantage of that break right there. That's the question. Philly at 29 seconds re remaining in it. And the game clock at 540. What of the year has been across well. Congratulations to McDonough. Big win for them to win the MIA Conference. And off Bishop Curley as well. I'll have here trying to make something happen. Coming around. Shoots! And up in the air. Shepard says no. And he gets it back. Getting a rest here. Got away. Throws it inward and gets it in the stick. Let's go. Back. Over. Pass is there. Fakes it. Long pass. Got it over. Four minutes left in the third here. Coming around. Spins out of it. Shoots. And a huge one there. Right on stand to get the save. Keep it to Vernon Park's way with exactly one minute left in the third. Three seconds remaining. Nice pass. 
Over! Homestead with a save. They got, they got the perfect situation there. Another hill biking. Oh, man. It was almost one goal until another came out late. Whoa. It came off of that stick. That ends the third. 6-1 lead for Sabrina Park at the three and quarter away from being the NBSSA champion once more. All right, folks, back for fourth quarter. About to get underway. So, Brother Punk wins the face-off there. They're up by five goals in this one, six to one. They're trying to be the MPSSA champion for a second straight year. Last year in 4A, they beat in Catonsville. They played them in the 3A semis this year. Trying to win 3A, and right now, they have controlled the pace of this game. Like I said, Mount Hebron, not really had many chances in goal. Listen here, in our last quarter of the cross action here this year on DSM. Shoots! And a uh, skip in the air. Defense kept it with us. Ball back to, the, to Mount Hammer. Vikings down five goals. It's not an impossible mountain, but it's like if you're coming up here to really walk in, it's a ways. No doubt about that. Lost it out. Corner Park gets it back. James Rupert. Fans is there to pick the ball up. Shoot, All right, folks, a six goal lead spells to me deep trouble here from Mount Hebron right now. Set down six goals here in this fourth quarter. It's going to be insurmountable mountain to climb here. Picked it up. Shoot, stop! I have needed that one. They got Shepard all balanced there. And he left the net just enough. Mount Hebron able to take advantage. That will be against Mount Hebron there. This one stay with Savannah Park. How about an easy goal? The either team really, that was a very easy goal. But again, the mountain's still high right now. The five goal lead. And now you can't, cannot really give up any more goals in this one. If you are Mount Heaven, the Howard County champion here against the Anne Arundel County. Champion here, brought that one the regular season title. Savannah Park got revenge on Barnack and won the six hundred title. Whoop. Look out! Score! Well, one time you can't just change goals. Eight-two game now. Right now for Savannah Park. See the finish line. Whoop. Got it in there, in the stick. That's going to go out. So we're going to say we can live with that turnover. It's going to be Really outside of that. Really. Our balance goal. That's a flag. 
my money's worth. Score! Penalty against Severna Park. Two goals here for Oh, they haven't had a fourth. They still have five goals here, eight to three. And like we said earlier, again, they cannot afford to change goals. Now Evans going to have a, a five goal deficit on them every time. But they do have a minute penalty to work on here. They actually remain advantage. 9.20 remaining here in regulation. Here we go. Whistle. He's got a ball. Jimmy, now Heaven keeps his possession. Heaven keeps his possession. Let's see if Severna Park can defend here. Down a man. can get it to three goals now. There might be some cooking going on. Coming back, with the spring, shoots! Scores, and hopped in there! All right, folks, back to game action here in Mount Heffern. Has dropped four goals here in the fourth. They just think kinda interesting here. 623 left. They've been able to hold off in front of Park offensively, which folks ain't easy to do, believe me. Check it there. What a night of the three A's here. Like I said, Century. 16 to 6 win against Hepford. On the two A side. The girls fight. Looking here. Fakes, shoots, score! All right, folks, back in the game happening again. We said it earlier before my ever can't trade goals. Still down four here. Oh, we've been three briefly. Run the park. Close the horn in the door. With five minutes left here. Sense of urgency is on display. Back. Swings it. Bang it, bang it. And a chance to declare. He's going to get that. 15 remaining. Back. Shoots. Score! No delay there. Who's the session here? And I haven't got the speed things up. They're down three goals here. 120 remaining. Low down. Got it up. I get an attack mode and do. Behind the net, we're down to seconds left. One more time out. We'll take one, two, 53 seconds left. A nine, six lead here for Serena Ball. Right, folks, back to game action here. 
We got in the second slot. Miami got a strike now. Fox! A good block there by Shepard. Not getting another one off. This thing. But, the runner block, they get it back here. With 40 seconds remaining, and up three goes. Haven't dropped five here in the fourth, but the time. I say too low, too late here. We got a chance. Intercept it. 20 seconds remaining. Lucky this ball get out of the stick one last time. It might happen. The runner park was in for a. A lot of the teams that used to see in Andorondo taking field respectfully. The ball will go back to my heaven for the last second point nine. Conquered one of their rivals. Beat Andorondo to get to the quarterfinal round. Savannah Park repeats. SNPSSA champions this time at 3A. We're back with a trophy presentation and a wrap up here on DSN in the Spring Sports Series season coming up. Let's present the awards to our 3A Boys State Finalist, Mount Heaven Vikings. Number one, Everett Armstead. Number two, Andrew Magdar. Number three, Peyton O. Number four, Jack Kettering. Number seven, Tyler Tangiris. Number eight, Nick Maturan. <coughs> Number nine, Rich Tangiris. Number 10, Aaron Kraft. Number 11, Nick Payne. Number 12, Jimmy Linsemeyer. Number 13, Gianni Carroll. Number 14, Zach Goodwin. Number 15, Keegan Ryan. Number 16, Maya Davis. Number 17, Nick Naylor. Number 18, Joey D. Tommaso. Number 19, Gene Hughes. Number 20, DJ Clark. Number 21, Jack Pierce. Number 22, Cooper Stockenberg. Number 23, Jonas Holbert. Number 25, Maverick Smith. Number 26, Kyle Rada. Number 27, Logan Craig. Number 30, Gavin Fleck. Number 31, Landon Yee. Number 32, Connor Van Home, Horn. Number 34, Ryan Overcat. Also listed. Ladies and gentlemen, are Will Kettering, Brooks Giro, Chase Karmitowicz, Matt Kanzowski, Doug Cohen, Daniel Harrington, Nate Arbery, Luke Holtzman, Luca DeClaire, and Josh Danso. The Vikings are coached by head coach Mike McCarthy. Vikings having the best record in Howard County this season will end. Congratulations. Had a record of the 3A boys and state finalist, Mount Hebron Vikings. Congratulations, gentlemen. Their two losses this year be to Anne Arundel County teams. One of them was playing for the 4A title, Broadneck. The other one just won the 3A title here, so run up ball. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to present awards 
to the state champion, Suburna Park Falcons. Athletic Director, David Kaufman. Principal, Patrick Bathris. Assistant Principal, Lindsay Abruzzo. Ladies and gentlemen, your Suburna Park Falcons are number one, Jake Daniels. Number two, Gavin Cope. Number four, Bryce Stevenson. Number five, Rock McCubbin. Number six, Joaquin Villagomez. Number seven, James Rubber. Number eight, Ashby Shepard. Number nine, Chad Brown. Number 10, Andrew Myers. Number 11, Benjamin Nesarito. Number 12, Matthew Dreyer. Number 13, Jackson Elms. Number 14, Quinn Romo. Number 15, Nolan Zebrai. Number 16, Upton Young. Number 17, Ryan Goswich. Number 18, Braden Flynn. Number 19, Talon Livingston. Number 20, Lee McNulty. Number 21, William Morgan. Number 22, Kevin Bredick. Number 23, Evan Strobel. Number 24, Jack Gunther. Number 25, Arjun Perrin. Number 26, Ryan LaRock. Number 27, Brad Bussey. Number 28, Daniel Stack. Number 29, Nolan Grizzle. Number 30, Cole Rogers. Number 31, Mark Darling. Number 32, Timmy Sullivan. Number 33, Camden Webb. Number 34, John Breitkart. Number 35, Jack Miller. Number 36, Paul Eisenberg. Number 37, Parker Seeley. Number 38, Tucker Moran. Number 39, Nicholas Whitaker. Number 40, Ben Seeley. Number 41, Jack Fish. Number 42, John Mazzola. And number 43, Drew Smith. The Falcons are coached by Travis Loving and head coach Dave Earl. Coach Earl winning his 100th game at Savannah Park. Ladies and gentlemen, your 3A state championship, Savannah Park Falcons. And Savannah Park will win their second straight MPSSA title for a, a year ago. And 3A here now. What a season here on DSN. We bring you some of the top lacrosse action here in our great state of Maryland and across the country. Here in the DMV throughout the year, it's been a privilege. And we've seen the football, basketball, and now lacrosse in the SSAA finals. And we've covered a, a class fully and leasing everyone. It's been a joy, it's been a privilege. We do not take that for granted, and we say so long to you here. We see you in the fall time for football. It's hoops for us from here between the Bronson League and AU basketball and uh, the DMV Live in June upon our summer hoops. We begin it with the Memorial Day takeover coming up next week here on DSN. You see coverage of that. And for Saverna Park, they end their season at a record of 16. Excuse me, 17. We had to include the 
win against Barnack, 17 and 4 in the year. We'll see you for the game of the week in the Saturday showcase on the football end. And the next time we see some green passers and sports, it'll be hoop for us during the summer. Till then, we'll see you down the road. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network.